Hello all, today we will talk about the basics of the Composite Stress Toolbox. First of all, we have to load a composite model. In order to compute the ABT matrix of the laminate, we have to right click in the laminate, then analyze, then engineering constants. A window will pop up with all the necessary information. We can go through the information of the ABT matrix of all the zones in the laminate. In order to create an analysis with the Composite Stress Toolbox, first of all, we have to define the load that is applied to the structure. Then, we have to define the first ply failure method. To compute the engineering constants of the composite material, we have to right click in the composite browser, then create, then analysis, and in the type select engineering constants. To compute the load response results, we have to right click in the browser, then analysis, then in the type load response failure. Then we have to select the laminate that the analysis is going to be about, the load that will be applied to the structure, and the first ply failure method. By clicking run in the first analysis that we just created, we can go through the results of the engineering constants. By clicking run in the second analysis, we can go through the results of the road response analysis. We can see the results across the plies of the laminate. If inverse reserve factor is higher than 1, then there is failure according to the specific criteria that we defined. We can select the results that we want to appear through the results menu in the bottom left of the window. We can visualize the results through the thickness by selecting result type load response plot. Then with the results menu in the bottom left, we can select which results we want to visualize. We can now see the results plotted across the plies of the laminate. And that's the basics of the Composite Stress Toolbox. Hello all, today we'll discuss about plotting stresses in a composite structure in ply level and in laminate level. First of all, we have to load the results file and the model file. In order to go in ply level, we have to select data type in composite strains. X is the direction along the fiber, Y is the direction 90 degrees from the fiber. Through the layer menu, we can select which ply of the laminate we want the results to be plotted. Through the option max layer, we can plot the ply with the maximum value in each element. Now, let's go in laminate level. We have to select in data type, element strains 2D and 3D. Now, let's talk about stresses in ply level and in laminate level. Again, in order to go in ply level, we have to select in data type Composite Stress. Through the layer menu, we can select which ply of the laminate we want the results to plot. In order to go now in laminate level, we have to select element stresses 2D and 3D.
We can select which data component we want to plot and which system we want the results to be resolved in through the menu resulting. And that's the basics about plotting stresses and strains in a composite structure. Hello all, today we'll discuss about plotting composite failure and composite strength. First of all, we have to, do to load the results file and the model file. Through the control panel, we can select which failure criteria and which mode we want to plot. Through the layer menu, we can select which ply of the laminate we want to plot the results of the failure criteria that we just selected. If the composite failure is higher than 1, then we have a failure in this element. In this case, we have no failure. If we select Composite Failure Ply Failure, then according to the selected failure criteria, we can browse through the layers in the layer menu and see the results in each ply of the laminate. If we define the parameter SB in the Composite Property card, then we can plot the results of failure according between the laminate, between the plies. We can plot the maximum value of failure index across all plies and all failure criteria by selecting Composite Failure Index, Failure Index. We can plot the maximum value of failure index in selected ply across all failure criteria by selecting Composite Failure Ply Failure. We can browse through the layers through the layer menu. If we select max layer, then the ply with the maximum failure index across all failure criteria in each element will be plotted. Then we will discuss about composite strength results. Again, again through the contour panel, we can plot the composite strength results of all available failure criteria. Composite strength is the ratio between the failure stress or strains to the actual stress and strain. We can plot the minimum value of composite strength across all plies and all failure criteria by selecting composite strength ratio, strength ratio. We can plot the minimum value of composite strength in selected ply across all failure criteria by choosing composite strength ply strength. We can plot the results of all plies in the laminate through the layer menu. If we select the option min layer, then we can plot the ply with the minimum composite strength across all failure criteria. Hello all, today we'll discuss about creating isoplots in composites. First of all, we have to load the results file in the model file. Then we can plot any results data available. By enabling the option Enable Isoplot, we can easily create through the legend the desirable isoplot. By changing the comparison operator, we can change the direction of the isoplot. Now, let's see which elements in this composite structure are under failure. First of all, we have to plot the results of the composite failure criteria. Then, we have to enable the option Enable Isoplot. And then, through the legend, we have to select to show only the elements that have a value higher than 1.
In order to create an envelope derived load case, we have to select type envelope. And to see the peak results across all subcases, we have to select max. Then we can add, we can add all the subcases that we want. Select data type envelope trace value to plot the maximum failure index across all the subcases. Select envelope trace subcase to plot which subcase the maximum value belongs to. And select envelope layer in order to plot in which ply belongs to. Thank you all for staying in this video.